Hi, welcome to this video in my series on matrix transformations where I show you how to form the matrix that would transform a particular shape by a given transformation. And in this example, we're going to look at the matrix which represents a rotation of 90 degrees, that's anti-clockwise, about the origin. And if I take this shape here, ABC, as an example, rotating it 90 degrees anti-clockwise then about the origin would take me to that position there. If I rewind this back, how do we find that matrix then? The transformation matrix that represents this transformation. Well, it's dead easy. It's exactly the same when we consider any types of transformations. All we need to do is consider where what we call two unit base vectors move to. And the first one is the one in the positive direction of the x-axis. This vector is the vector 1, 0. And the other vector that we consider is the one parallel to the y-axis in the positive sense. Its vector is the vector 0, 1. Now what we do next to form the transformation matrix is consider where this vector moves to under the transformation. So for this one, where does 1, 0 go to if we rotate it 90 degrees? That's an, in an anti-clockwise sense. 90 degrees then about the origin. Well, it's going to go to this position up here. It's like the hands of a clock. If this is the hour hand at 3 o'clock, it's going to turn to the 12 o'clock position. And that vector would be 0, 1. Then we consider what happens to this unit base vector, the unit base vector 0, 1. Again, if this was like the hour hand on the clock pointing at 12 o'clock, it would turn 90 degrees to lie in the 9 o'clock position. So, in other words, that vector is the vector minus 1, 0. And so to form the transformation matrix, all we do is we take the result of this unit base vector, which was 0, 1. We always do that one first. And then we look at the result of moving this vector, which was, in this example, went to minus 1, 0. So we put that one in as minus 1, 0. And that's our transformation matrix. This matrix will transform any shape as a rotation of 90 degrees centre of the origin. And to prove that, what we'll do is an example then on this shape. We take our transformation matrix, which in this case is 0, 1, minus 1, 0. And what we do is we form a matrix of the shape. And if we take the triangle ABC, and what we do is we look at the position vectors of the points A, B and C. So the position vector of A is the vector from the origin out to A. So it's 2 across, 1 up. And we mark that in as 2, 1. When it comes to B, it's going to be 2 across and 3 up. So 2, 3. And finally for C, it's going to be 3 across, 1 up. So 3, 1. So they're the position vectors of our three vertices A, B and C. And then all we need to do is carry out the matrix multiplication in the usual way, multiplying rows by each of the columns. And I'm assuming that you're familiar with matrix multiplication. If not, just go on my website, check out matrix multiplication. But on the basis that uh, you do, do matrix multiplication, what happens is that when you multiply the top row with each of these columns, for this example, you end up with the negative of all of the values in the bottom row here. So you get minus 1, minus 3, minus 1. And when you do the bottom row with each of these columns, you find that you just get the top row. So you get 2, 2, 3. All right. 
Now this matrix here is called the image matrix. It's the image of the shape that you had here. So in other words, the point A, which had position vector 2, 1, now has an image of minus 1, 2. It's at the point with the vector minus 1, 2. Where is minus 1, 2? Well, minus 1, 2 is that point there. And if we look at the point B, its position vector was 2, 3. It's now minus 3, 2. So minus 3, 2, minus 3, 2 is that point there. And finally, if we take the point C, which had position vector 3, 1, its image vector is at minus 1, 3. So we've got minus 1, 3 is that point there. So you should be able to see then that if we take this triangle, rotate it 90 degrees about the origin, it goes into that new position. So I hope that's given you some idea then how we can go about finding the transformation matrix for a rotation of 90 degrees sent to the origin. And what I would encourage you to do is to draw any shape on a piece of graph paper, doesn't have to be a triangle, any shape, and try experimenting with your shape, pre-multiply it by this matrix, get your image matrix, plot the points, and check that it does give you a rotation of 90 degrees about the origin. Now in other tutorials in this series, we'll look at other types of transformations, but essentially they're all built up just by considering the movements of these two unit vectors, 1, 0 and 0, 1. So if you're in any doubt about what those transformation matrices are, maybe you'll consider looking at the other videos in this series.